Yeah, I was going to record a little something, uh, and it's called Why I Don't Like 7mm Remington Magnum. Mm. Um, I'm just getting loose. It's only about my fifth beer, but uh, I'm building me some hand loads. And, uh, <clears throat> isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. I just, this is what I did with my, uh, Saturday evening after work. Um, made 25 of these sweet babies. I got some CCI 250s. Uh, what else got? This light's kind of screwed us up, isn't it? Um, what did I put in it? Where did I put you? Where did I put you? Gosh, I want to grab that box and show you. Gosh, they're 139. Green. Oh, yeah. Bolt tail Spitzer uh, interlocks. But, uh, I'm, I loaded 21 of these last uh, week. We'll get to the 21 in a minute. Um, and I, sh oh, it wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago. It's been two weeks since I shot my 7mm. And uh, I was like, I just want to load some cheap rounds and have some fun shooting offhand. And um, what I did was I put this, um, is it called a Crossfire Red Dot? Um, Vortex Red Dot on this thing with the rail and I went out and shot it so cheap rounds just for fun <clears throat> and it was awesome and <clears throat> I'm gonna get to this rifle in a second but I have to say you look at this round I mean you really look at this round and uh I have to say it's it's quite beautiful you can look at the proportions the case to bullet and you know it's a fast round I wouldn't call it efficient um, it's flat it's awesome ballistics are awesome it's a here here's the dislike part it's a lot of powder and the barrel gets hot quick and you can shoot about three of these in a little Mickey Mouse shape on your paper target at 100 yards and then it gets hot and it starts shooting higher velocities and the barrel starts expanding and <clears throat> The groups just broaden out, and uh, that's number one. I don't like. Number two, I don't like. It's a barrel burner. Your barrel gets hot quick. You start slinging lead down a hot barrel and blowing more heat and more heat and more heat. The <clears throat> I think it's like the carbon comes to the surface and breaks down inside that barrel you know in the rifling and then next thing you know you don't have an accurate barrel but um the thing that's killed me is three loadings three loadings with these things and the primer pocket is too wallered out <laughs> to deal with anymore so that's uh that's the number one thing I hate about seven ram mag. Um, all the ballistics, it's a true thing. Man, I didn't have to uh, adjust very much to shoot a, a ELD bullet down to a thousand yards. Um, that was awesome. Like if I just. Mm, 
it's kind of like a special thing. Like if I was just gonna shoot long range, and I had a nice heavy barreled heavy rig to shoot that with, seven mm would be pretty high up on the choices. And just some, you know, lots of time, take a day to do it. Heck yeah. But it's really frustrating when you uh, develop a load that shoots good, but um, especially as long as it takes with a barrel that gets that hot with that much powder and then you have to go buy more brass because your primer pockets are worn out uh, so that's what I hate about Ram Mag anyway mm. oh that reminds me it's a belted magnum and a normal um, reloading dies resizing dies don't resize it properly it seems to me so I've just gone to neck sizing them but um, I hear that there's a call it re re resizing die that um, squeezes it down without messing with the headspace of the belt because it headspaces on the belt so that's that's a little silly I mean it seems like just neck sizing it works fine for me but um, the brass is worn out so quick but, Anyway, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. But, um, so anything. Anyway, here's another little, um, reloading tip. <clears throat> what would I call this? Uh, I, um, Spherical, spherical powders and flake powders. I want to talk about that. Here's my spherical powder in my throat. Sixty-three point nine. That's two tenths. Sixty-four. Still within the two tenths. Sixty-four. Let's do one more. Just to, if it lands on sixty-four, it'll prove my point. I doubt it. 64. Spherical powder. Flake powder. When you're building a few rounds that you just want to have fun with, that aren't like you want the exact tenth that you found is your half inch group, spherical and flake, they meter with your throw like so nice. It's, it's, it's so nice. So, I'm not going to tell you what powder I'm, I've got because I don't want you to buy more of it. They don't sponsor me, but I want to find more at the store. But it's a little bit of an off brand. And I found it to be pretty awesome in these. I didn't really shoot for groups because I was just shooting with a zero magnification red dot last week. And, uh, it was a lot of fun to shoot offhand at 100 yards. Now this is the next review. It was three reviews in one. This is Bagara B14. And uh, I love this rifle. I love the fit of this. I love the feel and the lightness of this rifle. I love that it's a 24 inch barrel. Um... The action is smooth like glass or butter or cream cheese. I don't know what. I like cream cheese. Um, but this is a problem I've found. <clears throat> okay, let's go through the problems. I had to inlet. I had to, I had to bore out this carve out this inletting of this thing and bed it to get it to fit is straight in the uh, 
<clears throat> stock as I have, and it's still not perfectly straight. It was actually almost touching on the left side and had a big gap on the right. So that sucked. Um, what else can I say? Gosh, that's it. It, it didn't fit in there, right? And then the number two thing, the thing that's probably even more important, when I take this thing to the range, I fire it. Now, I know what you're gonna say, there's no bullet in those, but that's fine. Come on. So this is an interesting deal right here because this is not what you know, normally happens. Okay, that's what normally happens. You get a weird popping out of the magazine. And I get something like that popping out of the magazine and then a feed. And so... I think it's always kind of done that. It has a weird deal. Now look at that. Like, like that is like, that bolt action is so nice. Trigger is nice. It's That's per. I, I don't know. I love that trigger. I love the action. But for some reason, I have a problem with it feeding. I always have. And, uh. It's sort of just like. It's like the magazine. It just pops out of there too easy. Um. What else can I say about it? The. The build of the thing is like. So nice, the rubberized, over-molded stock is so nice. But they didn't, they didn't fit it to it properly, and the feeding is weird. It doesn't feed properly, and it does that with live rounds as well as um, just these empty cases I used. Um, what else? What else can I review for you? Um, it's a heck of a nice rifle to shoot. Um, the recoil for the lightness is a little bit harsh. It's hard to be really accurate with a really high performance load out of it. So I actually kind of load down. And that's what I'm doing with the, these light bullets that are fairly cheap and I'm just gonna go shoot it offhand and uh, use the red dot and zero magnification uh, 100 yard offhand shots maybe if I'm not hitting too good I'll <clears throat> put my elbow on the bench but that's a lot of fun a lot of fun I've been having in the bunker anyway just making rounds, making sure we're protecting our freedoms, and um, going out and practicing, you know, um, having enough rounds to practice and having enough rounds for in case things get crazy, you know, but hopefully they know, but um, what else has been going on, what else has been going on? Not much. I'm, I'm cool. Um, that was what I wanted to get to was the uh, the powder. Spherical powder. Awesome. Flake powder. Awesome. Meters well. It's awesome if you're just going to be loading up a bunch of rounds to have fun and practice with. Um, Bagara. Did I just get a dud? It doesn't feed right. And they didn't fit it to the stock properly eh, you know, and then 7mm what can you say it's like it's awesome but you're gonna burn a lot of powder 
doing that. 